What is up, YouTube? Welcome to episode number four of my survival let's play. My name is Diamond Dimer, and let's get on into the video. As you can see, we have shaders back finally. We finally have Optifine as well, which means we now have the ability to zoom. Now, if you watched episode number three, you'll remember that we made this lovely tree. Amazing custom tree. I don't know what the shape is. And we also made this incredible enchanting tower. But if you haven't checked out that episode, I suggest you go watch that one now to get all caught up. I'm going to leave a card in the top right. But in between episodes, we have been grinding and we've been gathering up a lot of material like stone. Also, a ton of this spruce wood. Someone commented on the last episode and said that we should plant four spruce saplings and grow up the big trees instead of just doing the one singles. We also planted the mangrove trees and acacia trees. We've just been gathering those up off camera and this is all cleared out for the new project at the end of the video but if you remember there was a big freaking hill here so what i did is i just flattened it out and i'm going to show you guys that now Since you can already tell from the thumbnail and the title, we're building a animal barn. And I think it's going to look pretty sweet when it's done. But for now, we're going to turn off the shaders and we're going to start the video off by building a carrot farm. Because I want to start on some carrots and some other farms because I eventually want to trade with some villagers. So let's get these shaders off and let's get the video started. So first things first, let's get this farm made. We're going to make it just like we did the other one because... I love that shape. For now, let's make this farm. I think I want to start about here. I'm going to bring it around and let's go this direction. Yeah, we got somewhat of a design. It's not a perfect circle. I don't know what the shape is, but it's going to be big enough, I think, at least for now. Eventually, if we're in a desperate need, we can obviously make automatic farms. But for now, we actually need to go grab some chiseled deep slate. So that way I can add to the top of these, just like we did over there. Actually, the deep plate tiles looks pretty good. Make some slabs with that. The sun is going down, so we're gonna have to go to sleep soon. I just add these to every other one. What? Um, that's not supposed to be happening. Not sure what this is about. It's just a little bug. Let me know if you guys have been dealing with that as well. And unlike the other one, we're not gonna have a walkway. That's very big. We're just gonna do the one. This time we are going to add the trap doors. Now we can till up all of this land. Okay, now let's plant all of our carrots. I think we have a little bit more somewhere, but probably not. Actually, we do. We have a whole nother stack. Okay, yeah, we got all the carrots planted, so now there's nothing to do besides decorate the rest of the outside. Let's go get some more leaves. We also need some vines, so we might as well grab these ones. Okay, let's add some flowers. I want a red one there, and let's add a yellow one. Now let's add some leaves and we're adding moss as well around the area like this just to add a little bit more extra variation and height the difference last thing we need is some lanterns place one there in the middle and then another one down here is that an enderman yes it is we're gonna have to kill that guy need some pearls my shield on okay dude get out of get out of my garden what the heck is happening there we go oh no got him Okay, let's eat up and heal and relax. All right, we actually got a pearl. We'll put that away. Let's take a look at the garden. It's much smaller than the one over there that we built, but that's okay. But it's looking incredible. We're going to just add probably a little bit of coarse dirt around the outside. And then we're calling it good. Oh, 
Okay, it's a brand new morning, and with the garden out of the way, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back down to the mine, where I had to lower the mine, actually, to... It was just a couple blocks. It was at... It was sitting at Y level negative 55, but I was wrong again. I heard that Y level 57 or Y level 58 are the best levels to mine for diamonds. So that's what we're going to do next. We're just going to go down in the mines, try to find some diamonds, and we'll bring you back if anything interesting happens. Okay, we just made it back from the mine. We got 31 diamonds total now i actually died while i was down there that's why i'm level 11 now but we came back to the top we came back and we made a diamond pickaxe and went back down and found the rest of our diamonds but now we're back on the top and we have something else that we need to work on but let's put our diamonds away but before we put them up we actually need to upgrade our armor i'm probably gonna have to make another diamond axe as well so let's do that okay there's the axe and now let's make our armor helmet some diamond leggings and a chest plate and the boots. And look at that, we were completely shrouded with diamond armor. Incredible. Okay, and with all of that out of the way, we're gonna bring the water bucket down into the mines so that we can get some obsidian because we need to make another portal. Okay, we got 12 pieces of obsidian. I think that's gonna be enough for now. Let's go find a place to put this thing. What the heck do you want, dude? I'm just going to bring the nether portal probably down here into this cave right back here from the house. That way it's not next to the house. I don't like the noises as well as some stuff spawning through. We're actually going to add it right here. So let's bring this up by three. Oh, I used the wrong pickaxe. Let's not use that. Let's add in some darker stone. And we're gonna add in some more things down here, but for now, let's go get a striker or a flint and steel, whatever you wanna call it. And this trail's gonna go all the way out back to the house eventually, and I'll make this tunnel look so much better. But that's not what this video is about. And there we go, the nether portal is active. So let's go through and see what kind of spawn we get. Um, okay, we're near a forest. We look to be on a floating island, so this is not good. Yeah, I just destroyed that block and it goes straight down. We're gonna have to build our way out of here. Let's go back, let's make sure we got everything we need and then we're gonna jump back into the nether and bring you guys back. Okay, let's go back into the nether now. We put all of our diamond armor away as well as our fortune three pick and our diamond tools just in case we die on the way over. Now, I just want to build a little bit of a box. We have some protection. I'm gonna finish putting this thing in a box and then what we're going to do is bridge over to that island. Holy crap, it worked. We actually got him in there. But now that he's in there, what? how long is he actually going to stay in there? I don't have a name tag, so he'll probably despawn. Okay, now we have a box, so we're completely protected when we spawn in. Now we're going to need to build a door. Uh, I guess that guy didn't want to be here anymore. Okay, let's try to bridge across using this stone i just need to get to the tree give ourselves a little bit of protection let's see if we can make this drop we're gonna have to just build a staircase down and bring it down here now we're good we made it to the ground let's we'll be careful the nether is very dangerous let's go ahead and i want to get around make my way over there let's see if yeah, we can get across we're just gonna gather some more of this stuff up and then I'm gonna bring you back. There's a ghast flying by. Don't want any trouble, man. You can tell we heard him. He ran away. Well, let's continue on. I need to find a fortress. That's the whole reason we're in here. Because I want to be able to get to making potions soon. So we can start turning some villagers. I want to get started on a trading hall or something. Because I need that mending book. We're gonna put up a pillar so we know how to find our way back. And... That is crazy. There is actually a fortress right in front of us, and it's not even far from where we spawned in at. We were just back there. Let's get some of this quartz first. We still need a lot of it. I can hear that gas somewhere. Okay, well, we got on top of here now, so let's go try to find us some nether wart or some blaze. Hopefully, we can find some chests as well. Oh, we got some. We got a blaze in front of us. Yeah, we killed our first blaze. We got a blaze rod from it, but I don't want to be out in the open too long. Let's keep going. We are marking where we've been with the cobblestone. Whoa, magma cube. Okay, we also killed a wither. 
I see a little fence area down there. There's got to be some blaze rods. And there is. There's a spawner right down there. The question is, how do we get over there? Okay, we took care of, of another wither. There's a wither right down here. And there's the spawner right over there. I'm just interested in getting some nether wart and then getting a few more blaze rods gathered up so I can get out of here. Is there any nether wart down here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Let's get this gathered up as well as the soul sand. Oh, there's a blaze rod right back there. Missed me. Got him. Okay, we are up to two blaze rods now. Let's finish getting the soul sand. Golden chest plate. My inventory is full. Okay, I know how to get back here now, so let's head home. Put up everything we got in our inventory and come back and check the chests as well as find some more blaze rods. Okay, we're back from the nether. We actually managed to grab two saddles. We had one iron, two, two iron horse armors, one diamond, and then we also found four diamonds. So we'll put this stuff up with the rest, and then we'll go ahead and decorate this a little bit more. I wanna get this dirt out of here. And I wanna take these walls and expand them a little bit. This room's a little narrow. And now I'm just gonna grab all the nether items that we got grabbed from the nether and go over there and decorate that tunnel let's see what we can come up with okay let's start with the ground let's just add in the nether rack that we have for now we're gonna have to get more nether rack but for now let's add in the warped the warped wart blocks and we'll add this one there so we got some light down here okay but you see the pattern we're going with so we're gonna do the rest off camera um we came down here for some more stone but we i just saw some amethyst crystals and the distance so we're gonna have to go check that out i said stone but i meant coal i did not even play the 1.18 update very much but this is my first ever find of these uh little pockets so am i able to get this with just a regular amethyst shard so yeah we can pick those up with just the regular pickaxe but this is great i wanted to add this stuff down to the tunnel where the nether portal is so let's get this gathered up we already have two stacks of the amethyst and almost a stack of crystals we got some more i think we're gonna leave the rest for now because we got quite a bit we got more than we need so we're gonna leave the rest okay let's replace this wall i want to add in some crystal right there let's add in some here and some back here you're gonna replace these ceiling ones with some more netherrack now i'm gonna fix the rest of this tunnel up off camera I'm going to probably leave this how it is. Maybe expand it just a little randomly out here so it looks like this corruption or whatever this is is growing even further out. But for now, we're going to leave it like this. We just wanted to get a little bit done. Luckily, we already took down that hill because we needed the dirt. We filled up this little area of water that was here. Made it more round. That way we could build another garden right next to this one. It's going to be a little bit smaller, but it's going to be for the nether wart and the soul sand we're gonna branch off from this one i'm gonna have it circling out all i've got is 20 soul sand right now so it's gonna have to do so let's throw down the nether wart that we currently have we're gonna head back into the nether and grab a bit more soul sand okay now we could put the rest of the soul sand down in the garden i think we have the exact number of soul sand blocks we need And we did. Let's finish placing down the nether wart that we still have. And we're going to need to make the pathway. Okay, we got one more thing to do before starting on our barn. And that is, we got to go get some dark oak wood. I saw a forest back behind this island somewhere. We're going to take down these acacia logs right here. As well as, we'll find some dark oak to take down as well. Okay, we got about half a stack of acacia logs. But... 
we planted a lot more saplings so let's head out and grab some dark oak I'm thinking it's around here somewhere back down this way because there's the birch and i think the dark forest or the dark oak forest is just behind it i'm gonna get a couple of stacks of this stuff and i'll meet you back over at the base okay we got over two stacks so i think that's gonna be enough and the sun is going down so let's head back to the house okay with all that out of the way i think it's time we get started on the barn so there's gonna be a three block gap on both of these sides here and we're gonna go one two three one two three and then here on the corner as well gonna be a five block gap in the middle okay so with the framework down we're gonna go ahead and jump into time lapse mode and finish this barn Hopefully that went painlessly and smoothly for you guys. For me, it took quite a while, but it was still pretty fun to put together. Around here on this side, we actually have some plants and some storage and some firewood, a crafting table, just your normal decorations. And we got foliage on top of the roofs coming down. Then on this side, we actually have a space for a chicken coop. Hopefully we can go out and find some chickens to put in here. But yeah, the tower looks amazing. I'm so happy with the way this barn turned out but let's go take a look on the inside over here i'm thinking i'm going to put some sheep in this uh longer pen because i want more sheep than anything else but that means over here we're going to put some cows and then over here in this one probably some pigs but yeah this is what the ground looks like where the animals are going to stay but over here we actually have in the tower a way up to the second floor and in here we got just your normal storage some hay bales Stuff like that, a crafting area and some tables set up. All in all, I think it looks pretty sweet in here. We got a couple of rooms. There's an Enderman in this one. I don't know why they keep hanging out in there, but the rooms are not decorated right now because we need to get some wool first so we can get some paintings and some carpet and stuff like that. But yeah, that's going to be the inside of the build. I think it looks pretty sweet. So now we actually have to go and find the animals that we're going to put in it. So let's go look for some cows. And yeah, we found a chicken, so I went ahead and grabbed a seed. I'm going to bring this guy back, actually probably leave him here for now and see if we can find another one to go along with him and we did found another one i can hear his little feet hitting the ground we're gonna go ahead and bring these guys back and put them in their pen and there we go we got a third chicken a little baby let's see if this egg nope all right now that the ouch now that the chickens are taken care of let's go get some cows hey a sheep once again we find the other animal before the cow you have a brother anywhere oh yeah right over there all right we're gonna take these guys home now all right, guys, come on, get inside your new home. Bring it on in. Close these up and breed these two. Perfect. Seems like they're already enjoying their new home. Okay, let's go find some cows. Hopefully this time we really do find the cows. Why is there only one cow on this island? Come on, dude. Let's head on home, dude. Go over here and make it easier. Okay, we got him. Now we're going to go to sleep and find another one in the morning.
Okay, with all of the animals in place, it's safe to say that I've finally built the ultimate animal barn. It's got everything you could need. It's got four different types of animals. It's got two bedrooms up top, and I'm loving it. It's one of my favorite builds of all time. It took a while. The episode actually took a lot of work, but it's been incredible. With all that out of the way, I think it's time I turn on the shaders, take a walk around, look at everything. But before we do that, it's time for the comment of the day. And today's comment of the day is going to come from Mandom with the smiley face. I think if I mispronounce that, then I am very sorry, but they said you're a very great channel that I will be watching for a long time now. I usually don't watch YouTube regularly or play games regularly, but I'll make an exception. Your videos have such a nice vibe and are very well put together. So thank you so much for that comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by, taking the time out. I'm glad you like the videos and that you're going to be around to be watching them. So just remember, if you want to be featured in the next comment of the day, just comment anything down below. That's going to do it. That's all I've got time for. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Let me know if you enjoyed the video down below. Don't forget, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So if you enjoyed the series so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help me out. It goes a long way and it is very appreciated. But until the next one, my name is Diamond Dimer and I'm signing off.